Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Angry Birds Evolution video. Alright, so today we're going to check out the patch notes and we're going to explore a little bit of Bird Island and I'll give you guys my thoughts of this new interface. Okay, so not sure if I like the new interface as much as the old ones, but I'm going to hold off the thoughts for now. Let's head over to the patch notes. Okay, so patch notes. Page notes, did I just say page notes? Patch notes 1.26. Okay, so this is the latest one currently. So it's all about Christmas now. Look at this cloud guy bird smiling. Okay, so what's new in 1.26? Jingle bells. Alright, so jingle all you can till Scrooge arrives. No idea who is or what is Scrooge. I assume it's one of the birds that you can obtain. Alright, cause when he does, forget about all your Christmas decoration. He's coming to ruin your holidays and he's bringing lots of parasites with him. Good thing the Snow Maiden has some extra gifts in her bags to share. You'll notice that we redecorated the look of the whole island for the occasion. Moving around will be smoother than ever. Get yourself a glass of punch and read, read on for more. Okay, so there's a... I'm not sure if this is a hint of them saying that this is just temporary because it says that uh, you'll notice that we redecorated the look of the whole island for the occasion which I'm assuming means Christmas so I'm not sure if this entire interface change is just temporary uh, I hope so because um, yeah I don't really not a big fan of it uh, we'll get to that in a second alright so brand new what do we have Christmas event don't get too jolly and check your stockings for stinky bucks because Scrooge so this is one of the bird I assume no one hates Christmas more than this yellow fella he gets triggered when he sees green elves or anything green really pigs really better get out of his way unless they want to see the stars in a bad way alright so I assume this is a yellow bird so be prepared if you have uh, recently hatched Master Chuck or Brenda X and Chuck and you wasted all the evolution materials and essences for them make sure to farm those yellow materials and essences again you might need them for scrooge all right so we have orthodox christmas event as well don't pretend you didn't like matryoshka dolls at one point in your life we don't judge you can collect them this winter in bird island no idea what's <laughs> what are those some sort of dolls snow maiden marisha the blue maiden has flown to the island from the north to bring you some gifts and kick pig butts burr Okay, uh, love the font. So this is the second bird that you can obtain, Scrooge and Snow Maiden Marisha. Uh, I'm glad that they are introducing two new birds, but what about Angry Santa? Will he be available? Maybe there will be like three birds and then you have to like, I don't know, get each of them individually. Or maybe they'll add Angry Santa later on. Usually they do that. If it's a seven day event, they tend to do that like three or four days uh, in to the event. So Bird Island Volume 2, welcome to an island where public transportation is so much better. Just one tap and you can be anywhere, what a time to be alive. Okay, so Bird Town, you will focus solely on your team in the Bird Town from now on. Don't worry, you can still get to the buildings in the town square, read on. Navigation, so use our modern AF new navigation bar at the bottom of the screen to reach anywhere you need to be. Bird Town Buildings, Daily Challenge, Eagle Mountain and Arena, all at your fingertips. Also, buttons will show you when there are rewards to claim or free hatches. Okay, so new rewards on Event Island. We sprinkle legendary runes here and there to make your Event Island experience a tad, a tad bit more special. Legendary runes. Have anyone obtained that? I've never... I've yet to obtain those. Um, promoted to 5 star, we simply couldn't ignore how cool some birds were so we made 5 star versions of some of them you might encounter some of them already if you play the upcoming events uh, there are a lot of 4 star birds that uh, I get it deserve to be 5 stars but I really hope that they would um, give 3 stars and even 2 stars some love some of those 2 and 3 stars they really deserve like a, a good 5 star version like Tiffany for example like like there are quite a number of them I think but yeah some of them are like definitely deserve a 5 star version if you ask me extended and improved prestige leveling 
lives made easier once again now you can easily level up prestige up from within the bird info window all right i will check that in a while we also tweak the requirements a bit goal requirements are drastically reduced and totem requirements have been slightly modified four and five star birds can no longer be used to level up prestige ouch that hurts <laughs> but selling them now give prestige totems oh that's cool instead of evolution materials super shot leveling you can simply up your super shot game right from the bird info window just like you do with prestige we'll sh i'll show you that to you guys later shiny apples the new iphone generation resolution is now fully supported awesome for those of you who are using iphones all right fixes and more fixes living on an island is all nice and chill but it also means lots of bugs you need to smash here are some species of bugs we killed with a snow spray this time. Mailbox multi sell sometimes showed server errors while selling stuff is fixed now. Okay. Also, incorrect rewards were shown for blue evolution materials, which we also fixed. One thing that I wish they would add is selling totems or selling multiple birds in your inventory as opposed to mailbox. That would be awesome. Like they are just focusing on mailbox. I don't get it. Like. How about inventory? Isn't that like a much more needed priority? And lastly, we have player usernames. If you change your username, it used to take a while for it to show up in leaderboards. We fixed that now. Okay, cool. All right, so let's jump into the game and let's have a look at what all this is about. Okay, so first things first, you can notice that this is the team that I am using. So if you tap on any of them, I think it will take you to, to the team. So why is my cloud so fat? <laughs> uh, that cloud though, it's a little bit fat, don't you think? Okay, so we have a couple of um, navigation that you can have down here. So the first one is bird team, which is basically the same as you clicking your team. And then hatchery, if you need to hatch, press on the second one. Campaign, you can either access from the third one, from the left, or from the top right corner right there. When you click that, you can access the the bird island and then you have this uh, daily achievements thing daily task right here on the left event on the left if you need to all right so daily challenge so this is the major packers and then you have the what is this evolve now okay so this is the package eagle mountain arena clan and rune chest so make sure to obtain this rune chest thing. Uh, I'm not sure if you can... Yeah, you can't obtain it normally anymore. So you have to come here to click this to claim it every single day. Uh, make sure to do that. Sometimes people just forget. I do forget sometimes. Um, since that is no longer in the correct place. And then we have the collection. What is this? Collection for some of the birds. Okay. Who do I have for? the other oh that's brenda x okay so they have one exclusive one for brenda x cool and that's about it more games and news at the end so not sure if i like this interface as much i hate the top part though there's there's darkened bar across everything like what is it for like i guess i'm i just need some getting used to and most people will need that as well you just need to get used to the interface but it's just more of um the old one was fine i don't see any issue with that but i guess most games tend to do this uh the other game that i used to play fantasy war tactics um when they sort of changed season two they sort of changed the entire interface and people hated it in the game as well so for me, I sort of hated it as well when they changed that, but it took me like at least a couple of weeks to get used to and after that I was like, alright, I'll just accept this. This is how the game is now. Let's just move on. <laughs> like, I guess most game companies or game developers tend to do this for mobile games because they want to like give a refresh look to their game, but I'm not sure if that's what players actually want. Um, but yeah it can't be helped like no matter what game you play no matter what games you play go for mobile games um there's gotta be like at least i would say eight out of ten games out there uh which has been around for a very long time 
they tend to change the interface like it's something that they can do to keep the game refreshing to keep the game look as new as possible you know so that players will how to say will not get bored with it as much so you know like right now they are trying to let us explore this new interface uh, it might be better for the long run I'm not sure but right now it's still pretty new I don't like it as much that's all I can say so one thing that I wish they would add is this thing right here it's called the selling birds so not sure if I do show it in the previous video but let's see if I can <coughs> Take a moment and show it to you guys. Alright, for example, this 3 star bird. So this is Duan. If I level him up, the leveling up process is still the same. I can't drag him back down anymore. It, I used to be able to do that, but now I can't. So if I put any bird there, I can't drag them down. So for me to drag them down, I have to click on the evolution tab and then click on the level up tab again. Then he will be here. Alright, so that's one thing that bugs me. I don't really like that. Why can't I drag down the bird? I, I, I don't know why, it's just... I guess it doesn't matter. You can sell them from the, from them being up there, but it's just like an OCD thing, I guess. And one more thing that I really, really, really dislike, I wish they, sh they didn't add this, is the extra window that asks for your confirmation when you're trying to sell a bird. So you can see down here, there's a super shot and then there's a... A dollar symbol press on that symbol and then they will ask do you want to sell this bird do you want to sell and then when you click sell yes it takes a while it takes a while all right it takes a while to sell and I don't like it like why can't it be simpler uh, why can't they add something like you can sell multiple birds you know like when you press hold and tap on this bird hold and tap and then you can like select multiple birds from then on and then you can just sell them uh, like in a bulk, you know, instead of selling them one at a time. I don't really understand this um, decision, like why they are, why are they going for this. So yeah, I don't really, don't really like it as much. I wish they would, um, they would ask for some sort of feedback, either from the Facebook or Twitter or whatever the heck that they are using. I know they have Facebook, I'm not sure if they have Twitter or any other social media platform like get feedbacks you know like that's how you know whether it's something that the players actually want and I know the community of this game is kind of decent they do have like Facebook uh, groups that you can join I think there's one Angry Birds Flockers but it's a closed group I don't really join that and then they have Discord as well which anyone can join so they should try to collect some sort of feedbacks from players as well um, not just that I really hate this thing selling totems so why can't they add one more button on the right instead of sell and then they have one more sell times 10 or sell times 5 that will make our lives so much easier instead of me trying to sell like if I want to sell 10 anger totems I have to click sell do this click sell and rinse and repeat that will take like 10 minutes of my time I don't like that and I have to do it every single day uh, you get it like it's not something that's pleasant like when you play a game you want it to be enjoyable not something for you to do uh, repetitively as tedious as possible uh, same goes for PvP as well but I guess that one can't be helped because for PvP you're sort of doing the same thing over and over and over and over again for dungeon keys but I guess you need the rewards. I'm not sure if how could they have improved that, but I hope to see them at least give you an option to sell multiple totems, you know? Like not just one totem at a time. Like this is the thing that's most infuriating to me. Like <laughs> usually this game requires a very strong internet connection. And when I'm outside, for example, if I go to a shopping mall or something, even my data connection couldn't uh, Sometimes when I try to sell, I will get like network error. It's just so frustrating. I wish they would make it easier, not make it harder for you to sell these kind of things. So yeah, just a bunch of rants and I wish that they would fix those things or improve on those things. Uh, yeah, it's such, such a waste that they wasted the resources into trying to develop a new uh, interface of the entire game. But 
they should have fixed those things that I mentioned long ago. So yeah, as always, that's all for my thoughts of the new interface. Let me know what you guys think as well. I would love to hear from you guys and let me know if you guys agree with what I said. As always, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. Turn on your notification bell as well and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye!